y'all welcome to meat cranium barbecue and review today i'm going to be doing something that is near and dear to me something that i love to eat which is fish being that i'm portuguese portuguese people we love our seafood and so this is one of my dishes i make for our, my family on a consistent basis this is a lemon basil butter mahi mahi on the camp chef ftg 600 flat top griddle but don't worry it will taste almost as good if you do it on a blackstone so so you can actually do this on a blackstone it just might not taste as good so uh, let's get started and i'm not gonna make any sides with this well i am gonna make sides with it but i'll make it off camera but these uh but the sides i'm gonna make is going to be like some cauliflower rice and maybe something else and this whole dish is gonna be all keto friendly so if you're on a keto diet this is something perfect for you let's get started okay so this is what i got here i have two beautiful fillets of mahi mahi now mahi mahi is extremely difficult to make so you got to be on your highest culinary expertise in order to make this i'm just kidding this is actually very simple first thing you're gonna do get yourself some olive oil just go over the skin with it go over the skin with some olive oil cover all the square inches of the meat Okay, done with that. Now it's time to move on to the uh, the lemon, butter, and basil sauce. Okay, next we got a, I got my little uh, pot right here. It's about the size of my hands. And it's gonna go in here, it's gonna be a bunch of deliciousness. One stick of some pure Irish unsalted butter. It's gonna go in here. Uh, quite a bit. Uh, this is uh, like one bunch, just see like one handful of basil is what I'm gonna go with. You'll have a lot of basil. You want that basil to, the flavor to come through. some olive oil in here. There we go, some olive oil. There we go, about that much. You can go about one, about one eighth cup of olive oil in there. You're gonna go with one whole juice lemon. I'm gonna go one and a half lemons, that seems to be enough. And this is one bulb of elephant and garlic. See how big that is? If you're using regular garlic, like a regular size garlic, use about three or four cloves. But since this is so big, I only need to use one. Okay, now that I got everything in here, just gonna slide it here in the corner. All right, so how I got the burner set up. The side I have, that I have this on right now, that side is off. I'm gonna let the residual heat go over there and slowly, and slowly heat that up. Where's the lid for it? I forgot I gotta put the lid on it, so. Just let that gradually come up to heat and slowly heat up. The other three, I got them all on medium high. Yeah, all my burners I have on medium high, that's what this fish is gonna cook on. And it's gonna cook on skin side down for majority of the cook. And then I'm gonna flip it over, kinda like I do salmon. The very last bit, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put that uh, that nice glaze on top of there. So this is gonna be a real quick cook and uh, just wait for this to get up to heat so I can uh, get, that, get the mahi mahi on. All right, I think it's about up to temperature. I went ahead and cut the, uh, the mahi fillets in half. And if you watch the fillet, as soon as I put them down, they kind of tighten up. Watch, they kind of squish together. Okay, you see how it's cooking on one side, how the color's coming up? You see it's about halfway up? It's been about two, three minutes. The one in the back has a little ways to go. That one right there has a little ways to go. However, these three right here are looking pretty good. I'm gonna be uh, flipping these here in about another minute. Okay, so it's been three minutes. I'll go ahead and flip these over. 
That skin's nice and crispy. All right, so I just flipped it back over and I'm gonna let it go about three, four minutes on that side until the rest of that other side cooks, get a nice little sear on there. I'm gonna put that glaze on top of there and it's done. Put it with whatever size that you wanna put it with. This is only about how to make the mahi. That's it, you do your own size. It's been about three minutes, flip these back over, see, see what we got, oh yeah. Okay, so I did two of these um, meat side up and then did two meat side down. You can serve them either way. That's why I'm presenting them like this. Look, it's a nice, nice crust on there. That skin's nice and crispy, or you can do it like this too. Either which way you can serve these like that. Now it's time for a taste test. I'm going to give this sucker a try. Beautiful. It's nice and flaky. Still have the steam coming off it. See that? Simply marvelous. Three, four minutes each side, medium high heat on your flat top griddle. That's it, people. That's it. One more bite. God, that's good. That skin's so nice and crispy. God, I love this. Like, subscribe. I'll see you next week. Ciao.